My name is Chris. I own the Tommy Kyra R32 GTR. It's uh, one of 95 in the world. It's number 17 to roll off the production line at the Tommy Kyra factory. Tommy Kyra sort of became this cultural icon in the early 90s, late 90s and early 2000s. It's a tuning shop in Japan that captures 90s tuning philosophy very well. And once I got the car, I did some more research on who Tommy Kyra was, and I realized how rare the car was and sort of this cultural significance that it had. And that sort of made me feel as though I had this obligation to make sure that the car wasn't just locked away in a garage and tucked away behind some cover. I wanted to make sure that people knew the history of the car, saw it out on the road, and, and knew what Tommy Kyra stood for and what 90s tuning was all about in Japan. I was just surprised at, at how tight-knit the community was and how personable people were. When you drive a car like this, people are always asking you questions and wanting to learn more about it, but the amount of people that I've met that knew what the car was and knew what it stood for and just wanted to enjoy it and be around it, it honestly truly surprised me. I, I made a, a bunch of really cool and great friends from all over the world. I mean, China, South Korea, people in Japan that have the same car and are happy to see it on the other side of the world doing what it's doing. So all in all, it, it's pretty cool. I've never expected for a car to bring me around so many people and so many like-minded people that appreciate the, the history of automotive and tuning excellence. I've taken it on a couple of road trips with my family. You know, it's a two-door car, but surprisingly it has enough space for luggage and four people. So I packed it up with my girlfriend and my parents and we drove to Massachusetts and Connecticut. I think my favorite memory and experience with the car was was on the way to a car meet in Connecticut. And I decided to take this like very offbeat back road route rather than taking the highway. And I was driving, you know, alongside pastures with like horses grazing and there were rivers and streams running by the side of the road. It sounds odd, but I genuinely felt like I was in a fairy tale. I mean, you don't mix cars and fairy tales together very often, but the scenery and I don't know, the. The, the temperature that day and the way the, the wind felt with the windows down, I mean, it's a memory that I know I will take with me to my deathbed. It's just something that I could never forget. It was such a pleasant drive. I was there with my brother and my girlfriend and it just, it felt right. You know, it's one of the few times in my life where I felt like this is what life should be.